Hi, I'm Lucy Vigesma. I'm one of the country's leading event riders and producers of young horses. So here we're going to look at um, studs, how to choose the right studs for the right ground conditions. Um, too small, and you might as well not have them in, too big, and you risk the horse injuring himself um, and concussion injuries through the studs not actually properly going into the ground. So one of the most important things when considering what studs you're going to use is that to remember we've got to allow the, the horse's foot to function as close to nature as possible. Um, so we've got to think about the horse's foot balance um, so here we're talking about left to right balance so we always use two studs rather than um, just the one on the outside that some people use um, so that the, the horse's hoof is, is hitting the ground evenly so you don't get stress down any one particular leg more than the other. Um, some people and particularly in show jumping will also put some studs in the front quarter of the hoof. Uh, personally for me I don't particularly like doing this because I feel that when the horse's hoof hits the floor it doesn't actually stop dead, it moves very slightly and I think by inhibiting that movement we're taking the horse's natural hoof function away from him and are more likely to get jarring injuries and concussion injuries as a result. Here is a selection of the sort of studs that we typically have in our stud kit, um, ranging from big gobstoppers that we'd use in really wet, slippery conditions to the smaller pointy ones, which we're more typically going to use on, on firm ground. Got a sharper point, less bulk to the stud so they're going to cause less concussion. I think um, very often studs are, I mean I'd be the first person to want stability but I, I think sometimes the ground conditions can be so wet that they almost become um, unnecessary because actually the horse isn't going to slip at all in the in the deep ground. Um, so that's something to consider. Another thing to bear in mind is that although we want evenness in the balance of the horse's foot, um, there is a risk of the horse brushing himself with the inside stud and causing an injury. So I'll very often use a big bulky stud on the outside and a very slightly smaller one on the inside stud hole to avoid brushing injury. Another handy thing to remember with the studs is to always tap out and clean out your stud holes the day before the competition plug the holes with cotton wool, that'll avoid having to struggle with your horse's feet while he's stood on the lorry at the competition.